Hello guys. Today we are going to see how to communicate from the child component to parent component. Last session we saw how to split it the component into parent and the child. So the last session, please go through my previous video in this uh, series in the playlist, uh, which is a blazer. Okay, so so last session, so the fetch data component. So we converted all the tr html and associated data to the child component which is um, forecast details so now i want to do some action in the child co child component which i need to communicate back to the parent so how to achieve that is today we're going to see okay okay so here what we do right so we'll just go and add one checkbox okay just uh, input yeah input type okay so and uh, then Selected count. Okay. So here we go. We are planning to display the selected count of the checkbox. So let's go and refresh the page. So here I have a checkbox, right? So whenever I try to choose the checkbox, run check or check. So here I choose the three checkbox. So I need to get it here. Selected count is three. So this checkbox I added in the child component, which I need to communicate saying to the parent that my I selected the three checkbox, how to display it. Let's go and achieve this. Okay. Okay, fine. So here on change event, we're going to write. Okay. Okay, here I'm going to call on change trigger method okay so let's uh, go and create this method in the backend I class what so as this is a change event so we need to get the change event argument okay that's fine so now we will get the argument with what is the event value that is fine so now how to communicate back to the child for that we have something called event callback method okay so this you make it as a public event callback which is generic so we are going to return bool value there okay so we call it as selector okay we call it the name is selector or forecast selector okay okay fine so on change event 
whenever the on change event trigger just to go and invoke this event callback okay invoke it async okay pass this event argument value here so as we know in the early video we just checked like event give object so we need to cast to the boolean because we know checkbox it will give the boolean okay okay cool so now what it will do so whenever any checkbox selected so it will just pass uh, to the event callback so now and also uh, this event callback we need to whenever the event uh, callback invoke so we need to get those value in the parent for that you want to pass this as a parameter if you not pass as a parameter you will get an error because we going to have it as a parameter whenever selected just okay call plate okay fine so we have a method in the parent fetch data so fetch data so we have we are having it here only so let's have the method okay one is uh, integer okay select a count okay then we'll have a method protected void method name calculate the count and okay fine so this event we will get the type boolean in the event callback so we are receiving here okay if if it is a true then just increment it okay otherwise just just okay so whenever calculate uh, whenever the event callback triggered so if it is a true then make it an increment to the one otherwise decrement it okay so default value is zero this select count will keep it here okay cool so now just reload the page so you're going to see the magic now so default nothing is selected so let's choose the checkbox one and two three four five and yeah it's working like a charm right so this is the approach where you can communicate from the child component to the parent component. Thanks for watching Radius. If you have any doubt queries, just add it in a comment section. And also please subscribe my channel uh, so that uh, it will be help for me also uh, to uh, put a good videos because I need a more viewers uh, to encourage me basically. And also it also, I want my video to reach to the wider audience to help to the people so please subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed before thank you